Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of Keeping Up With Kelly. This week, we're going to be looking at how to balance the ball on the knee. For this trick to work, the thigh area has to be kept completely straight, so we must first practice this stillness without the ball. Your back should also be straight, and your, front, and your free leg should be bent slightly forwards, as this helps to still the ball and keep you balanced. Now I have to try and locate the right spot in which to balance the ball on the knee. You should aim for the middle part of the thigh and be wary that the slightest shake will cause the ball to slide from the leg, so absolute stillness is a must. Place the ball very slowly, keeping your hands placed on it once it has reached the thigh area and not letting go until you feel the balance is secure. This will take several goes and it's important to not allow frustration to creep in and sabotage your practice. Now you have to figure out your preferred way of getting the ball to land and balance on the knee. One way is to do keep your piece with the knees and slow down the momentum of the ball until it stops completely, at which point you try and establish the balance. The benefit of this method is that you can control the pace with which you prepare to make the ball balance, as you gradually ground it to a halt. You can also try to establish the balance coming up from the feet. This is advantageous in the sense that you can set the height you desire but also quite complicated as so you have to time the right moment when to hold out the knee. Remember that the touch from foot to knee must be very soft as too hard a kick up will just cause the ball to bounce high off the knee upon landing. Finally there is my preferred method in which you first trap the ball on the foot and then lift the ball up to balance on the knee. The benefit of this motion is that with the ball balanced on the foot the body has already established the appropriate still form so that when the ball launches into the air, it is easier to follow the technique. When lifting the ball, do so in a slow motion, as it is important not to give the ball too much momentum as it rises in the air. The slower the rise, the more chance there is of the ball accommodating the soft landing. Do so in a slow motion, as it is important not to give the ball too much momentum as it rises in the air. The slower the rise, the more chance there is of the ball accommodating the soft landing. It might be useful to experiment with each of these methods, or maybe through a process of trial and error, discover your own favourite way of establishing this form of balance. The two crucial things to remember, whatever your method, are a still form and a soft touch. Hopefully, these will help you on your way to success.